Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for more, it's Leo speaking. In this video, we are going to go through additional fun functionalities inside Atom Piano Roll 2, in particular, how to use layers and the clipboard. Before I start, um, please, I'd like to remember everybody to subscribe because if you do so, it helps me with growing the channel, getting uh, more views and subscribers will help to get more uh, giveaways, uh, bring in more tutorials, videos, etc. So let's start. I'm inside AUM. So let's start creating a MIDI channel and then also an audio channel. And let's select something simple like the grand piano as an audio unit. Um, now let's select uh, as an audio unit processor, Atom Piano Roll 2 and link the choosing just in case we want to play some notes, although we probably might be able to do the tutorial without playing. So I just opened uh, the first instance on what would be clip 1.1.1. As you can see, it's empty because I just started and um, um, let's also ensure that uh, I don't have anything under the clipboard in, for the purpose of the tutorial, so I'll remove both snip, snip, snippet. But I will explain that how it works in a moment. So under layers, I have this clip, the current active one, with nothing else, I have a refresh button as well. So let's add some notes, let's click, let's click on add and let's add some note like so. And let's click now on the refresh button and the notes will appear there. Now you might just be wondering why are layers useful? Well, let me show you. So let's double click uh, to create a new instance of Atom Piano Roll 2 like so, and why not? Let's connect that as well to the Grand Piano. Now let's open that one and let's click on layers. And as you can see, you have your layer corresponding to what you have active at the moment, which is empty, but you also have a clip 1.1, which is shown there for you. And if you activate that, you can see clip 1.1 showed on um, shown on the piano roll as ghost mode. So you can interact uh, with the notes from the clip, but you can use them as a reference. So you can say, mm, why not? Let's do that. And corresponding to the exactly to the note we have there. Uh, right, so we have done that. If I wanted, for example, to do a longer clip and I wanted to consider to still have those notes visible, I can click here where it says a uh, number of repeats and you have the ghost notes repeated again. Additionally, if I wanted to do something different, for example, a different pitch, I can act on the pitch here and go up or down the pitch. Okay, uh, let's click play. Okay, and we need to launch this one. Always remember to launch and this one as well. Okay, not the most fantastic composition, but I will do. Let's click on refresh here and you will see the new clip ID there. Now, let's go back to the first uh, clip 1.1 and let's click refresh so we have both layers. Now, the clip which is um, um, active at the moment will be shown here under layers, like so, okay? And the other one in this case, clip 1.2, and uh, you can enable it, as we said um, just a moment ago, to see that as a ghost, or you can decide to copy this particular clip, which is not the one active, to the clipboard, like so, and that's become available there. Or you can decide also to add it as a pattern. So if I do so, you will see under pattern, you have the original pattern corresponding to what you had there and also the one which is being currently copied or created from clip 1.2, clicking on this button here, which says add as pattern for that particular clip 1.2, okay? So let's go back to clipboard. As you can see, I have um, a clip 1.2 in there. Okay, that's good. Let's say that I want to also bring this clip inside the clipboard. Well, one way to do that would be either to go to close this, go to clip 1.2, enable the layers, and then uh, select here clip to uh, copy to clipboard. That's one way to do it. Or if I go back to clip 1.1, you could actually say copy all, and it will create uh, a copy of all the notes as uh, an additional um clip in the clipboard. Now let's remove that. Another way would be to click select, double click to select everything and say copy selected, like so. 
Or another way would be cut selected, which will cut the notes selected and move them to the clipboard. Let's click undo now, the notes will appear, but what is in the clipboard will stay because the clipboard is permanent. And to show you that, let's um, um, remove both instances of Atom Piano Roll 2 and recreate them it's from scratch, like so, right? Um, let's connect the two as well. So if I open this, on the layer, I still, I still see only the la one layer corresponding only to the clip which is active uh, because I have only one instance of Atom Piano Roll 2. If I go to clipboard, now I see two clips there. That's interesting. So they are persistent. They are from the previous one. And it's almost like building your own library. And now because you still have them there, you can say, paste the start of that clipboard, the clip, which he has done there. Or from a measure number two, I'll position the playhead there, um, paste at playhead, like so. So that's how you can use paste the start and paste at playhead, which is really useful. The next thing I want to show you as well is, um, let's um, uh, delete that. Um, if I go to layers, now is empty. If I go to pattern, now, there is one pattern which is empty corresponding to the clip which is current active. And I can, of course, add some note and you can see that there. Now, if I go under layers, okay, and let's say that I create um, actually another copy uh, of Atom Piano Roll 2 and I open that up, okay, and I go to clipboard and I paste these at the start like so, okay. So going back to clip 1.1, now on patterns, I see only the one corresponding to the current clip. Now, if I wish to go to layers and click instead of copy to clipboard, I click on add as pattern. It will add a pattern here corresponding to that clip, in the case, clip 1.2. Okay, so pattern works in a different way, so they're not persistent. So again, if I was to remove uh, uh, both instances of uh, uh, Atom Piano Roll 2, and I recreate one, like so, and I expand, and uh, under patterns, you see there is only one pattern corresponding to the active clip. So it's not persistent. But again, if I go to clipboard, you can see that I have both clips from the previous work I've done, which I can use as a library or I can decide to remove like so. Okay, I'm going to explain how patterns work in more detail in the next video. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.